Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to go over another example of creating a class and a method and then using it from outside. So first things first, I'm going to create a PHP file called index9.php. Create a class called date now. And inside I create a protected variable called date now. And I'm going to include an underscore here. Right here, I'm I'm including an underscore just to indicate that this variable was created from inside of the class. And if it was created from outside of the class, I would simply remove the underscore and it's for a personal reference, it's just a method of organization. Then I'm going to create our first method called public function get current date. And inside, we're going to define a new variable new value for our variable so date now it's now going to equal to the date function where we're going to display the day of the week um, date and then of the month and then year and then just to finish it off we're going to return whatever is now in the variable and if we go down and let's create a new object called um, let's say uh, magic date and then we're going to assign it to the new class new dates now and we're going to echo today or actually quotes and then today's date is and then period magic date arrows and then the method we just created, which is get current date. And if we go back to, or if we go to our browser, and I'm just going to go to the location where I saved the file. OP basics two, and then index nine dot php. And it says today's date is Friday the 14th of January 2011. So that's how we uh, access the method from outside. And then we're going to get to our second example. And let's say this time we want to create a method that's going to get the date five days from today. Or, or let's make it simple, seven days from today, so one week from now. So we're going to say public method or public function get future date and we're going to say the new value for the variable date now is going to equal to the date function one more time then day of the week of month then year and the timestamp that we want to convert from or to reference is going to be a string to time which is get, going to get the current date plus seven days string to time is just a PHP function uh, that interprets a string data that can be easily written in a human um, understandable form and it converts it to the Unix timestamp which is the long number that represents the number of seconds since uh, 1970 January 1st so once we get down here we're now going to say, or actually, I have to finish this off this method off by saying, return the date now variable. So going to, going back down here, I'm going to echo a break tag just to organize things. On the next line, I'm going to say, today's, or actually, next week's date is then magic date which is our object and then the method that we just created which is get future date and if we go back to our browser and refresh the page it says next week next week's date is Friday 21st of January 2011 so now this time instead of saying just generically seven days let's see if we can make a method that can customize the future date from today so I'm going to create another function called public function get custom 
future date. Inside, I'm going to now say the new value for the variable date now is going to be date. Then once again, the format and string to time. And we're just going to say plus days. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go back up. And this time, we're going to create a variable inside called um, custom date with no underscore since it's being retrieved from outside. I'm going to insert the variable right inside here and say custom date. And finally, return the variable date now. And here I'm going to echo another break tag. And the last line is going to be the future date. And we're going to say five days from today is. And reference the object, magic date. And then the method we just created, get custom future date. And we're going to say five. So if we go back to our page, reload it, there you go. The future date five days from today is Wednesday 19th of January 2011. So 14th is today, and then five days from today is the 19th. So that's another example of using or creating a class at a method and then using, from, using it from outside of the class in another PHP uh, file or script. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and see you guys next time.